spent some amazing moments with him up closer to the camera. I a while back getting very, very close to him and he was spending a lot of time around there getting his food. Other little guys, if you go from where he is now straight just to the edge of the water, two little ones just moving around there. I don't have binoculars here, but I can see the same as you as the camera gets us in close. What is that? Those guys. No, it's cool. Those are ring neck doves. Just want to see where they've gone now. They're little guys. You're more to the right on the bank. You see from the Hammerkop right yeah. to the edge of the water, and then about four That's meters good. down. Yeah. Little pied bird. Up again. Oh, look at the dragonfly hovering in there. Awesome. <laughs> Just a little bit up and left, Rob. More, 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 more. Okay, there. Or at the no, no, at that, at that bird on the edge, straight in. Where's it gone now? That's a bit of a tricky thing, but I do want to show you this little bird. See one closer to us now here as well. You see where the, where the two doves are? Yeah, I see Just up and right from them. If you go to the... Yeah, I see that one. Just keeps going. Go Guys, we'll find these little dudes now. Oh, even in the naked, I've lost them again now. Where's the... Wait. It's coming closer to the edge again, huh? Just go up a little bit. Just go in. This guy is right yeah, there. Let's go in. Yeah, he's right there. Ah, uh, there he is. Up a bit. No, up a bit. Not. Up. It's no, don't move. Up. Up, yeah. And left. Down a bit and zoom out slightly, Rob. And then hold on. Let me yeah. find it there. I can see it. <laughs> he's right there. From those butterflies. He's just up. No, I want to see this bird. In those little long grasses now. He's in the long grass, exactly. Go right in. There he is. Ah! We got him! Sheesh! This is harder than tracking those lionesses earlier. Guys, this is quite a cool little bird to see. Beautiful. I love the, the shape and the sort of the colors on it, even though it's just two colors. And a very, very fitting name. You can see when it's moving around or when it's standing, that tail is moving up and down. These are called wagtails, and the specific one is called an African pied wagtail. So a very, very descriptive name. God, I think let's go back to that elephant. We've just got a game drive vehicle in front of us here. Into space for them to come past and we'll go say goodbye from the elephant. Everyone, Makapulu and Glove's there again. Yeah. He's crossed inside. Okay, from all the way from here. Thanks for Well, we managed to find the wagtail and we also now know what happened to those two lionesses. Ephraim just telling us they found
found the tracks. And uh, it wasn't the ones that were heading south, those were different lioness as well. The same two tracks that we had earlier have gone all the way north into Biffelsuk. Went past Biffelsuk Dam last night, but um, it crossed further north. So at least it solved that riddle. turning his head now but you can see he's resting that trunk over the tusk something that they do I think sometimes purely to rest the trunk partly because they can and then also there's other bulls around it's also a sign of dominance obviously once you have a tusk big enough to be able to just hang your trunk over it you're normally a reasonable size elephant already So what he's also doing is see the ears are open. He's not flapping them so much, but he's actually holding them. The wind is sort of blowing from behind a bit, so it's blowing in behind the ears. Must be giving him a nice cooling feeling. Another good way to cool down. Obviously having a mud bath. The first time I saw this guy that's come back from leave was um, middle of the day. Rowan and I found him at a very sort of muddy, wallowy type area, a place that Uffalo, often used by buffalo. And he really covered himself in mud, sort of covered us in mud as well. And uh, it would be fantastic if he does the same thing again today. He heads down to Gary Water, it's nice and muddy down there, we were just looking at it for that bird. And um, just the perfect place for elephant bull to go and mess around in, splash around in and in the same process cool down as well. Well, it's been a fantastic morning. I do really think we're going to see more of him. He's going to stick around here for a bit so you should get some nice looks at him. You're very lucky, maybe even comes very close to the camera and you can have a bit of a bird's eye view of the elephant. Thank you for joining us. It's been a uh, very, uh, shall I say, lots of big fight this morning. Almost buffalo, also the elephants, and just general game. A bit of excitement, almost finding us lionesses. Hopefully this afternoon there'll be some cats that we can actually get a look at. As always, it's been a pleasure having you here. From Rob and Cameron, myself, Peter and Haley, back in the Life Control Centre. Everyone at Wild Earth, everyone near Juma, South Africa. Have an awesome day. Enjoy the waterholes and we'll see you later. Cheers.